Welcome back into the Better Half Hour. I'm your host, Alex Monaco, sports betting guy. You know how we do it. I'm on the double decker of the mezzanine, cruising down seventh, looking for angles, looking for trends, looking for value to bring you for a little holiday shekels in your pocket. We all got to get gifts for people. Hey, yesterday, couple W's. Check it out. About last night. You got to tune into the show because I'm breaking down money for you over here. All right. On a positive note, the Knicks on LeBron Taco Tuesday, 7-0 against the spread in their last seven. They love playing ball on a Tuesday. Tommy Tibbs says he's going to be shaking it up, ruffling the deck. We need it. And I am taking the Knicks on the money line. All good things must come to an end. Popovich catches an L at home. Again, there's still six games under 500. Scotty's on fire. Let's call a little rush hour meet Zoolander. Take a s little celebration. We got the Boston Celtics dancing at, I guess, the crypto arena. I don't even know what's going on, Ethereum. This is no longer the Staples Center. First game tonight, no pressure. Last time, these two dance. Five Celtics in double figures. Jason Tatum. 37 points, it was 130 to 108. Jason Tatum, last thing I'll say, 30 points or more in seven of his last eight Western Conference games. If you want a little player prop, man put up 37, as I mentioned, in the first time they danced. I'm gonna take Boston, I'm gonna take the Nets because the Mavs are two and seven in their last nine. I'm over here having to stretch the hammies from that little rush hour Zoolander shimmy. Knicks! played last night, they played a night. This time, they're dancing against the rival. You know how this goes back to the Pacers. In Indiana, Knicks off a of back-to-back, but they're two and one on the season on a back-to-back. -back. Tommy Tibbs got this squad going, six guys in double figures. RJ Barrett put up a Magic Johnson in a career high, seven three-pointers, people. Three guys off the bench in double figures. Quickly led all scores off the bench. Little double-double for Robinson. You got to love that in a back-to-back -to -back tonight because they're going to need the bench. Now, they're one and one on a split against the Pacers. Pacers had dropped four straight right before a win against the Wizards. And put this in your noggin. We are hearing on the trading block, Sabonis could go. Levert could go. Miles Turner could go. This could be a factor tonight. We don't know. They may show up in Indiana. They may mail it in. All I'm saying is right now, the Knicks, six and four against the East, but in Indiana, it can be problematic. Six and 13 against the spread in their last 19, but they're getting five points here. So if there is something to say about these Pacers who have struggled, this is a brutal team in terms of chemistry at the moment. Knicks flying high off a huge win. Only downside, and last thing I'll tell you, they have not had a back-to-back -back winning streak since almost a month ago. Not ideal. I'm still leaning Knicks, so give me the five points in the harder team that plays tonight. All right, now we're moving on. This is an interesting one. Bucks on the road against Miami. Line is at six and a half, and for good reason. First thing I'm telling you, the Bucks are on fire right now all right they are six and one in their last seven games as a road favorite they are nine and one in their last 10 games they are seven and two overall against miami with six covers in the last nine games that includes a clean sweep against miami jimmy butler's not playing morris isn't playing bam bam's not playing that's roughly 40 points of offense that he will not be getting this Bucks team beat the Heat on Saturday without Giannis. That's terrifying. Six and a half. Last thing I'll say on this one, Miami one and four against the spread in their last five. And the Bucks undefeated. Undefeated with their big three. Drew never takes a holiday. Malcolm in the Middleton and Giannis 50 piece. Six and a half in Miami. As long as they didn't go out with Jokic. Should be an easy cover here for the Bucks. All right, last but not least, we got history on the line potentially tonight, people. Steph Curry, 15 threes away, 16 to break. Jesus Shuttleworth, all-time three-point scoring, if you get the reference, that's Ray Allen. And the Blazers are 
awful right now on the road. One in 10 this year on the road going against a Warrior squad that is absolutely cooking at home, 11-3-1 against the spread, 13-2 at home, going against a Portland team, bottom five in defense, bottom two, actually, and giving up three-pointers if there is a Steph prop. Oh, and there is one. I'm talking about it later. You better fire. Huge line tonight, but again, one of the worst teams on the road. Also, Dame's on the trading block, at least in the rumor mill. So think about that tonight, as history could get made Clay's got the record with 14. When I return, I got a professional sports better here, people. You can't miss it. Get ready to take some notes. We're just getting started on the better half hour.